He's fast asleep. Hello there. What's that? Your music woke me up. Oh, sorry. Oh, not to worry. I'm Rusty, Rusty Nailbender. I'm Bobbin Threadbare, of the Weavers. Weavers, eh? Our folk are blacksmiths. I'm supposed to be getting firewood for the master, but this plateau is being picked cleaner than a new blade. Come over here. That's us down there. The forge. That's what we call it. I've heard you weavers don't get out much. What's your business here? I've been looking for a flock of swans. Swans? No. No swans around here. Oh, say, all this talk has made me sleepy. A real pleasure, though. Oh, let me know if you find your swans. Oh. Oh, who are you? Just me, a friendly stranger. This is a private guild, my strange young friend. The gate only opens for members. It's locked. It's locked. Nice trick, Weaver. Me own mum wouldn't know the difference. Soft robes, though. Just the thing for sleeping in. Do you mind, then? Hello, young nail-bender. About time you were coming home. Stoke's been looking for you, and he ain't real happy. You better get in there right now. Well, it's about time, you lazy idiot. I sent you out four hours ago for firewood, and you bring me back one scrawny stick. If your father weren't a foreman, I'd toss you in the furnace. 
You're just like you use downstairs with the bishop right now. If that fire goes out and the cleric's swords don't get done... I'm sorry, I had a bit of trouble. Perhaps you'd like to offer your confessions to the bishop in person. I'd be happy to arrange it. Now give me that stick! I'm done dealing with the likes of you, Nailbender. I'll be back. And you'd better hope the furnace doesn't go out. What a mess. I can't do anything without my distaff. That straw looks awfully comfortable, though. <gasps> oh. I must have a sleep draught woven into it. Imagine frightening a poor defenceless old thing like me, Cor. Well, I may not be much good with fire, love, but I still enjoy the taste of tender, firm young meat. One blasted stick of wood left, curse that lad! Ten thousand swords to forge, and the furnace is about as cold as my chances for promotion. I don't believe this. Real nice of that weaver kid. Just wait until his turn comes. I'll be waiting for him on the outside. Oh dear, that means trouble. If Elder Atropos saw his star fitted so he'd have something to say about it. You, you could be sure of that. Careful now, old bird. Let's not singe the feathers. Not a stick left. Now that's more like it. The final blade is even now in the hands of our most skilled blade shaper, Your Excellency. How's it coming there, Edgewise? I'm just putting the edge on the last sword, sir. Good to hear it! No slacking off now! Let's get it finished! You'll share with me a historic moment, Foreman. The forging of the Ten Thousandth Sword marks the end of our preparations. How much longer must I wait? The steel will ring out its final defeat, sir. Not much longer now. Very good, then. Carry on! Edgewise, is that blade not ready yet? His Excellency is still waiting. The metal is proud, sir. It does not yield easily to my blows. More sweat will soften it, I trust. It will be a blade to be reckoned with. The blade of reckoning? It does have a certain apocalyptic ring to it. 
I trust I will not be kept waiting much longer. Good metal rewards patience, exalted one. And our client rewards quick service. Now pound! Maybe I should stand a bit closer. Maybe I should stand a bit closer. It's about time he stopped that hammering. It's too noisy. The final blade is even now in the hands of our most skilled blade shaper, Your Excellency. How's it coming there, Edgewise? I'm just putting the edge on the last sword, sir. Good to hear it! No slacking off now! Let's get it finished! You'll share with me a historic moment, Foreman. The forging of the Ten Thousandth Sword marks the end of our preparations. How much longer must I wait? The steel will ring out its final defeat, sir. Not much longer now. Very good, then! Carry on! It's about time he stopped. What? What evil is this? A witch's curse has twisted the final blade. A curse, Edgewise? I think not. It would take more than a mere witch's curse to ruin my plans. You there! Could it be that this little prank is of your doing? Yes? Well then, I would be honored to have you as my guest at the cathedral. I know some other curses that may amuse you.